I want to talk to you a little bit about something that concerns me, and it is our common posture. Our common posture. There is an information explosion. Take out your cell phone right now. Take your cell phone out. Take your cell phone out. What you have in your hand is the library at Alexandria. What you have in your hand is the entire library of Congress, librarians included. And what are we doing with it? What are we doing with it? When I talked to Ray Kurzweil um, back in December, who I have great profound respect for this man's intellect, I think he's misguided because there is no one teaching ethics. No one is talking about the ethics. Can we do it? Is all that is asked. Can we do it? Nobody says, wait, should we do it? What are the ramifications of this? When I talked to Ray Kurzweil, who is the, um, uh, the, uh, the chief architect of artificial intelligence for Google, this guy is the guy who said, your computer will fit in your hand. It'll be the size of a credit card. It will have the computing power that it has now. This guy, he said that in the 70s. He, is, he was the uh, chief consultant for Microsoft, for Google, for everybody. Look him up. The guy's not wrong. He's now the chief architect for artificial intelligence. I'm sitting with him in December and I said, I said, so Ray, what's coming? He said, well, Glenn, in five years, in five years, your computer, your phone is going to be able to say to you, Hey, Glenn, I know you've been thinking about X, Y, and Z. I've done some research for you. You should read this book, this book, this book. Also, you should probably talk to this person, and here's their phone number. I said, what? How does it know? He said, it will be able to answer your question before you even ask it, or perhaps you've even thought of the question. I said, how does that work? He said, he pointed to my iPhone and he's pointed to the speaker and the, uh, and the camera. And he said, it will be listening and reading everything that you say and everything that you write and everything that you read. I said, Ray, should we do that? That doesn't sound like a good idea to me. It's going to be monitoring everything at all times. It will read everything that you do. There's no person doing it. It's scanning. Has anybody ever noticed that you get an inordinate amount of ads about me? The reason why you're getting it, somebody else, I can guarantee you, Van Jones is not getting that. You're getting it because nobody at Google is reading. It's scanning for information. It's scanning everything that you write. And it's putting you into a category. Oh, you're a Glenn Beck fan. Here's the information for that. Oh, you're thinking about buying a new car, a minivan, this kind. Oh, here's the ad for that. It's already happening, but it's convenient. So nobody says anything about it. But the convenience is about to go dark on us if we don't draw a line in the sand. And you have to know because it's going to be a very quick and slippery slope into it. Now that's just the power that is coming in the next five years because quite honestly, that's already happening. It's just not as fancy, but it's already happening. And it's not just happening with Google, it's happening just down the street at the NSA. And the NSA is really right here. We are within five minutes of that NSA storage facility. That storage facility, you'll notice nobody has chained themselves to that. The left had people at nuclear power plants all the time. Nobody on the left or the right has said boo about that. And they don't have to, they don't really have to say boo about it because the NSA already knows you're saying boo.